let's go over problem 40 and see what kind of information we have and what we need to calculate. Indeed, here I'm giving you four sets of experiment. Let's say we went to the field and we get the core out of you know um, a, a specific rock that is tough. Okay, uh, let me the unit indeed the rock is tough, and uh, we went to the field and we got four you know cores, and we take these cores into the lab, and each time we are applying different amount of axial stress and confining stress so the axial trace axial um, uh, axial uh, stress indeed is the one that is applied you know parallel with the cylinder and we call that one sigma a and confining stress indeed is uh, the one that i'm showing here and it's given as a sigma c uh, if you look at the, the numbers, you're going to see the axial stress is larger than the confining stress. In that case, you can take this column as a sigma 1, the first column as a sigma 3. So um, what you're going to do, indeed, is you have four experiment, and you should have four more circle on your graph. So uh, what I'm going to do, I will change the whiteboard and then um, show you how I'm going to draw this. But see, we have four experiments, right? Each one has its own sigma 1 and sigma 3. And we are supposed to find a failure envelope. So let me go to the blackboard and then look out on... Um, On the answer okay so what I'm gonna do is I would have my Sigma s here and Sigma n here so um, the first experiment the Sigma 3 was 14 let's say this is and the second one it was 87 let's say this is 87 and then the second um, let let me I draw my circle for this okay you can actually complete your circle if you want but I don't gonna I don't want to use the you know the bottom half so that's why I'm just only uh, drawing the top side and leave empty for the bottom side for these numbers I do the first experiment like that. The second experiment, it's 42 and 164. So here, let's say this is 42. And the second uh, stress, which is sigma 1, it's 164. And then I will draw my circle like that for the second experiment. And let's write it here, second. And here is first, and here I'm going to do a third with the black color, and the third indeed is 70. Okay, and uh, sigma 1 is 242. Okay, I'll draw my circle like that. And the last one, let's do it with the green. So this is the fourth one, and that is. 99 here is 99 and 321 okay so we will make this circle for the force uh, experiment so as you know all of them are done for the same sample so the mechanical behavior or physical behavior of the rock it's not going to change that much even though if you increase or reduce the axial stress or confining stress so therefore we can combine the result of these four experiments and we try to fit a line 
okay a tangent line which I'm going to show you with the with the gray color uh, what you do at this stage um, we need to find a failure envelope this is the indeed the um, the question is asking us to find a failure envelope so failure envelope indeed what you do you take one ruler and you try to draw a tangent line that is going through you know the best fit for all for all the um, experiments you have done so we have done four experiment and I'm drawing a line more or less okay a tangent line to all of it maybe you know maybe it's not tangent for one for instance here orange is a little bit off it still is okay but you, you, you try to do the best one so this line it's gonna be the failure envelope for the for this tough and right away from this you can actually read the psi right you can read the psi and you can come up with the mu which is tangent psi right so if you come up with these two angles indeed you are done with the portion one and two of the question so one is asking for drawing the failure envelope indeed is the gray line that we draw here and the second question it says determine the coulomb coefficient which is mu and what you can do indeed with the protractor you measure the psi you take the tangent and you come up with this with the mu and the third portion indeed is asking determine the theta angle okay from um, from this experiment what we should do indeed um, you need to draw the failure plane on these experiments so you you know the center of each circle right the center of the blue circle or first experiment it's here you draw a line to the to to the point where the tangent line okay is matched to my circle so from here you should able to read a two theta angle right so if you divide that angle by two you're gonna end up with the theta angle so I have the first theta angle from there you do the same for the for this one here it's another two theta you go to the next one and from the center of the black circle you draw a line to the tangent line and you read the two theta and you do the same for the last one right you find the center you draw a line to the cooler envelope and that is your two theta if you divide if I divide this two thetas two by two I'm gonna have you know um, four different thetas I can say you know the blue theta plus um, you know the orange one right and that one plus the third theta and plus the last one and you divide okay we are looking to the average and you divide this by four right and you come up with the average theta and that is indeed is the answer for the third portion of this question so this is like a real example of finding you know the failure envelope of a rock of a formation you find out you know the coefficient uh, number for the coulomb envelope and also you find the, the average theta angle that the rock is going to break under the uh, stress field so um, if you have any questions i can answer if not um, i will stay for you know, for a couple of more minutes and if you want to um, ask any question or um, if you have any issues with that let me explain more if not then we are at the end of our session today so if you are done and if you don't have any question you are free to leave the class no problem i recorded all of it and after you no know, process